Alright everyone, uh, welcome back to Agnomatica 6. My name is Mo Master. Alright, so I kind of left the last episode off with a cliffhanger. What is this upgrade with advanced going to be good for? Well, I don't know. Let's find out today what that will be up <laughs> What that will be good for. Oh yes, a whole video about finding out what this upgrade is going to be good for. Um, yeah, so for starters, um, Pistols Advanced does some crazy things with upgrades, one of them being the ability to tap into other types of inventories uh, with advanced. So normally you're limited to just chests and minecarts with chests, uh, but with advanced, you can pop into other types of inventories, like players, for example. So if I had a pistol here, and let's let's set this up against like there. Throw that on there. F to that. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Ah, where'd my sword go? There it is. I took my sword. If I you know put that up here, my pickaxe, so on and so forth. So it can actually interact with my inventory, which is kind of cool. Uh, but this can be used for other things as well if you want to do the work to do it. And I'm not gonna lie, I've never actually made a mob spawner system this way before. I've always just done it this way where I repair the armor and recycle it. Uh, today we're gonna do something completely new that I've never done before with pedestals using this upgrade. First though, I need some feathers. And some upgrades. Feathers and upgrades make fan upgrades. All right, so for starters, we'll start there. Next up, I think I will turn all these into planks. Give me some more bookshelves real quick. So I'm going to be doing um, a bit of stuff to... Oh, you know what, actually? Do I want to make a system that can take bookshelves away from me? Uh, maybe, maybe not. We have a fan. I want to get a 9x9 nine nine area going. So, by default, the area is a 1x4. Four, uh, 4 high by 1. Uh, we're actually using a fan already for our storage system. So, underneath of here, uh, we have a pestle that has that upgrade. But we also have a fan upgrade under here as well. And that's what pushes us up here. Uh, this fan has a range of 1 on it, so it actually gives us 8 blocks of height. Uh, from the, where the pedestal is at to up here, it's about 8 blocks. So that's how we get up here all the time, is that fan. Well, I don't really want height necessarily. I mean, I, th I still think we want maybe range one or something for height. Um, but I will want some area. An area, by default, it's one. Uh, it's going to go up to three, five, seven, to nine. So we want a area four book, basically, if we want to get a nine by nine area going. So for area four, I believe the focus book recipe requires um, gold. I could be wrong. Uh, wrong tool. Oh, it is area. Area is iron. Okay, so we have area for iron. Gold is range then. Yep. Okay, cool. So we have both range and area. Uh, for range, I probably want level one. So I might just break this real quick. Oh, I should not have broke it. Uh, poop. Oh, actually, it wasn't even connected to... to never mind. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Um, put a barrel under here. We just want level one, so I don't need any books around it. I just want level one for range, I think. Or do I want level two? Give me those back. Let's see if this will give us level two. Yeah, level two. Cool. So that should give us enough range to do what I want today. Um, I will want some more range, though. And how much more range do I want? I think we will put the, the upgrade back in, in this one. Boink. So we're going to get a range five here. Boom. Range five. Thank you. Okay. So we have range five. I want area... I think area one would be nice. So we're going to go back and forth here. Pull that off. 
Throw that on. Give me area one. So that should give me a three by three area on the fan. Um, I don't think I need this anymore. I think we're good on the low level stuff. But I am going to want area four. And area four is something below level 50. Um, so we're going to roll with maybe level 40 might give us area one. Let's just check it for level 40. Yep. Area four. Area four. Area four. Perfect. Okay. So those are the enchants we want. As you can see, I had to break some shelves to get kind of to what the level we wanted. But all in all, it's all right. I do need to remake one more shelf to get level 50 again. Uh, there is definitely times you don't necessarily need to always have level 5 enchants on everything. And um, this is one of those cases where it's nice to have a bookshelf set up that can fluctuate uh, how many shelves are on the pedestal. Um, I don't have that set up yet, but that's pretty easy to do with pistons. Uh, we might do that later, maybe for an official setup. This setup is just kind of a, I'm showing you guys how it works, and we'll do kind of an official setup later somewhere. Uh, I will need one more fan upgrade. Uh, for what we're doing, I need two. And I want my area one with my range max first. Um, so we're going to throw that there, throw that there, throw a fan in here. That's going to give us a fan of a 3 by 32 by 3 area. Um, so height-wise, it's pretty nice, but we're actually going to be placing this at, at, at an angle or at a directional. Um, so it's not going to quite go 32 high. It's going to go 32 long. Uh, but then we have area and range, a little bitty range. Uh, we're going to throw these on there. Go that way. Uh, so this is a 9 by 12 by 9, which I think is going to be about perfect. So it's just right outside that 9 by 9 area. And I think that will be just fine. Cool. Okay. So uh, what we're going to do is we are going to... How do I want to do this? Do I want to do this underground or above ground? That's the question. I think it might be easiest if we do this below ground for right now. So let me make a, a hammer. I, I don't know where my other hammer went. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't make this one. <laughs> but I, I've lost my other hammer. I don't know where it went. Probably in my backpack, and I just can't see it for whatever reason. But, you know, being blind and all. Uh, not that I'm actually blind. I'm just blind to everything I'm trying to look at. All right, so we have the fan, we have the other fan, we have a pedestal. I need another pedestal. Uh, actually, a few more pedestals. Let's go with a whole stack. Why not? All right, let's go down here. Let's go down the basement. Uh, we're going to go all the way down, I suppose. Not all the way down. Let's go down to level 12. That way it gives us some room to do some building. All right, here we are, level 12. We got our hammer out. And I'm going to build us, what am I going to build us? Let's, let's do this. Can I do this right here? I think I'll do this right here. Okay. So I want, what, what do I want? I don't even know. Where'd my backpack go? What? Where'd my backpack go? Oh, geez. Um, okay, well, anyway, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine blocks. Uh, actually, I need more than nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There we go. Why twelve blocks? Well, one of our fans stretches twelve blocks in range. So that's why twelve blocks. All right, so we'll do 12 blocks this way. Um, we'll do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Man, efficiency on this hammer is kind of crazy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. All right, so. Okay, I don't know why we're breaking some rocks really fast and other rocks not. 
Oops, that's too far. Uh, give us some light though. Okay, fine, good enough for me. Okay, so there we go. There is our nine by nine room. By or nine by nine by twelve room, basically. And I'm gonna put this. Actually, I might put this here, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Nine by twelve by nine. Okay. One, two, three. Actually, let's go up a little ways here as well. The shiny thing in my face is not helping. Okay. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oops. Weird. Uh, okay, whatever. I really need some light in here. This lack of light is killing me. Lack of not having a backpack is killing me as well, but that's beside the point. All right, uh, we'll throw a torch in the middle here. Ah, light, finally. Okay. Beautiful. All right. There we go. We got a nice big room. The middle of the room is five over. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, our fans is nine by 12 by nine, which means that if I do that, it'll push us all the way to this wall. And then uh, technically a little bit further, but that's okay. I can disable it with just having crouch so I can crouch in here and actually do some work. But there we go. Uh, that is pretty much how that works. So that's the, the first fan. And the reason why we want it pushing us to the wall is I want to have the other fan working as well. <laughs> this is a little bit slow though. Do I have more coal ore around here somewhere? We can make a mob filter real quick um, using coal ore. And it will actually make it so that the pan won't, the fan won't push us uh, since we're not a monster. But I, uh, I may not have that nearby at the moment. But that's all right. We'll live. Okay, so there is fan number one. Fan number two has a lower area, which means uh, it will push anything against the wall. So if, if we go up against the wall, it'll push us this way, which is what we want. So now we're stuck in the corner because we have two fans pushing on us. Uh, but that's all right, we can actually move around just fine, no big deal. Just like so. All right, so what we're gonna do here, so I'm gonna count over one, two, three, four, five, and I'm gonna go up at least three blocks here. Okay, that's why. Cool. Okay, so we made it out of the room. Uh, we have a block in the middle, and the block in the middle is uh, for a reason. Now, the fun part. We're going to put a block right there. I know it's just right to that side. Okay, so it's right to the side of the hole here. Break that, put a pedestal. In the pedestal, we're gonna put our upgrade and we're gonna do that, break that block. 
right. Okay. You know what I didn't think of? I did not think of... Um, didn't think of needing an export upgrade. Oopsie. All right, we'll have to make another upgrade. Not a big deal. All right, so another upgrade we can make is the export upgrade. You know, you know, hopper here. Do that, and that, and that. We'll enchant this at level 50. Uh, do I have any more diamonds by chance? Oh, wait, of course I have diamonds. Dumb, dumb. We have diamonds for days. Diamonds for days! Not really. Uh, I mean, it's repairing them slowly, but sure. It's just really slow. That's all. No big deal. Uh, right, so our export at level 50. Hello. There you are. Capacity and speed. Beautiful. Uh, the reason I wanted the diamonds is... Uh, I wanted five augments. The reason for the five augments is now that we have max level of speed, uh, we can move items at a item per tick, uh, and with capacity up to 64 per tick. But I'm not really worried about that at the moment. Uh, I'm mainly just worried about moving our items really, really fast. So, we're going to come down here again. And over here, I'm going to put our barrel. And I'm going to put a barrel right here. All right, the import upgrade, if items collide with it, it will uh, go in. Okay, put our export right here. Boink. Because our import has speed five on it, it can transfer items really fast, but the transfer between pedestals is still slow. Uh, so we need to speed that up, and that's what these augments are for. So the interaction is what the upgrade handles, and so you enchant the upgrades to increase their interaction speed. But you put augments and pedestals to increase their transfer speed. Uh, so there's two different systems working at play here. Um, so that's why we augmented the pedestal for its speed, is because the interaction of the upgrades is at max speed. So we need to upgrade our pedestal's transfer rate to max speed as well. Okay, so I hope that helped explain that just a wee bit. If you're still confused, that's okay. I, uh, I probably wouldn't be surprised. That's not an easy topic to talk about all the time. Uh, because pedestals are fairly complex, and, uh... Yeah. All right. Anywho. All right. So now let's pick out an OP spawner. Let's go an OP zombie. I like this zombie spawner. This one's really, really OP. Um, right. Overpowered zombie spawner. Here we come. Got that. Let me... I have a coal here somewhere. Yeah, I have a couple of coal. Oh, you know what I didn't think about? Oh, I have wood. Yes. Crafting bench. Boink. Crafting bench, block of coal, and now if I just crouch here, we can go over here. Slowly go over here. Break this block. Place that, and you'll notice we're no longer affected by this fan. Yay! All right. OP zombies on her right there. Break that off. Take that away. Uh, crouch once we get to this point. Apparently, we're too far away from the zombie spawner for it to work. Uh, that's a little bit disappointing, actually. There it is. It's working now. Okay. So, it's going to spawn zombies. I never connected them up. Derp, derp. All right, there we go. Boom. Now we have two naked zombies with fire resist. And we have all of their loot in here. Oh, this is slightly damaged, though. Interesting. Not super damaged, but still, still slightly damaged. So now, if we attack these guys. Uh, now we have loot that's mostly repaired already. I think you can see where this might be going. We can spawn monsters, disrobe them, or derobe them basically, 
and uh, and basically not have as much experience that needs to be dealt with. So as you can see, the zombie got derobed. Um, he's just standing there, ready to die. Let's go kill him real quick. In fact, I might just remove that right now. Nope, he's dead. And we have all the plunder. And it's, like I said, mostly, mostly repaired already, so it takes even less experience for us to actually deal with this. And, uh, yeah, lots of good stuff. So, so this is my ultimate goal here, is to make a mob spawner that uses this up Um, I guess I don't need to crouch in this room. I can just stand here. Because all the zombies, even if they spawn on me, they're going to get basically teleported over there. Derobed instantly. <laughs> And then I just need an auto killer at this point. <laughs> auto kill them, grab their loots, and call it good. So there we go. Now we have a better way to get armor and, and stuff from monsters. So yeah, there we go. There is kind of our our thing. Uh, obviously, most of this gear. I mean, we get 100% of the gear that comes off the mobs. So we're getting more gear, uh, which means more experience that we're getting, which means just more stuff in general, really. And whatever gear they have, so if they have gold gear on, we'll get gold, you know. And it's 100% chance at them dropping it. Um, so this really gives us a lot more stuff. And we can kind of get some lucrative um, rates going with our mob spawner resource getter thing. Yeah, I'm kind of excited for this. So yeah, there we go. There is our our new and improved way to do this. The fun part is actually setting this up somewhere um, and then auto-killing the mobs as quick as we can. That way um, we can suck more armor off, you know, so on and so forth. So, so yeah, that is the new and improved setup. I wonder how I can do this without getting... Oh, it's really dark out. Let's go to sleep. I wonder if I can set this up in any easy way before the end of the episode here because like this works fine but we need basically copies of all these different upgrades uh, again to do what we want to do so let's uh let's grab a tank uh we need a magnet we need uh an auto attacker which doesn't require that we're gonna need another or another recycler which is actually gonna be another nether star uh, an anvil, a grindstone, and I think that might be everything. Yes, I think that will be everything that we need here. Cool. Okay, so another grindstone is a uh, stone slab, actually. Get our cheaty stone going here. So we grab some stone slabs. We'll need some planks and some sticks. And I think it's just this recipe right here. Oops. Um, for the magnet, we will need that and that. Three of those for an anvil. Four. Anvil. There we go. Grindstone. There we go. Magneto. There we go. Uh, we need the tank. That's oh, a bit more iron here. There we go. Then we need ourselves the Recycler, which is a wood pickaxe. And some more planks, which I am a little bit short on because I've been just wasting wood left and right. Stones. Ah. 
and an upgrade box. Boom, boom. And what am I looking for? There, there we go. Cool. Got the grindstone. Alright, so that's everything we need there. How many of these uh, we needed? One, two, three, four exports. Yes, four exports. Okay. Actually, we have just... Oh, no. No, we don't. Yes, we do. I'll make some extra ones just in case. We always need more imports and exports. Uh, one, two, three, four. Exports. Good. All right. So, mass enchanting ensues. Uh, four of those... Might as well just give that everything we can. Oh wait, hold on. Those are the imports. No exports. Well, we have a maximum level imports now. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Yes, it stores 1,250 levels. Cool. Alright, so all of those are good. We just need one more advanced upgrade. So I'll throw all that in there. Uh, let's do that. You know what I should do? I should get another block of coal. Bring it with us. That way I can disable that other fan that's uh, keeping us from doing things. Okay, so that should be everything we need there. I might need... And some emeralds, maybe, if we want capacity. Do we need capacity? I don't think so. Oh, right, we need an auto attacker. Um, auto attacker, auto attacker. That's diamond sword. Sticks and diamonds. Stick. Diamonds. Upgrade. Boink. We're gonna just max enchant this at level 50 as well. Uh, magnet and area. Oh, that's kind of a interesting combination. I mean, it works, but not quite what I wanted. Capacity and range. <laughs> um, I mean, can I get like capacity and speed maybe? Speed and range? Okay, okay. Actually, Magnet is a good one as well. I forgot about that. I really should stick with Magnets on one of these. Or if I have to enchant it myself, I will. Uh, magnet Capacity? That's fine. Yeah, I can enchant a speed book on it. Uh, no problem. Provided I know where my speed books are. Uh, in general. I... Of course, I misplaced them again. Just like I misplaced my backpack. Oh. No, that's not my backpack. Dang it! Backpack! Where'd you go? Oh, three of those, yes. Alright, so we have gold, we have chests, we have that. Do I have. Do I want to make these diamond chests while I'm at it? Don't really think I need to, no. In fact, I might as well just make a dropper for the uh, grindstone one, because it doesn't need that many inventory slots. Dispenser, that work. Okay, got that. Maybe some filters? Do I need the filters? Do I really need them? No, I don't think so. Yeah, should be alright. Alright, cool. Let's uh, let's go downstairs. I think that's everything we need. Watch me. I'll, I'll, I'll have missed something, I'm sure. Um, such is life. Alright. Another coal block here. Uh, that was for our fan, which I think is right here. Sure is. Boom. 
So that will keep us from getting pushed by... Oh, hello, creepers. Multiple creepers. No, thank you. Oh, we got a bow in there, too. Wow. It's got a skeleton spawn. Okay, uh, anywho. We need the auto attacker. 3x3 three three with a capacity C of in. Uh, capacity 7 does a 7 base damage. If we put a sword in here, it increases it more. But obviously, I don't think we need it at this point. Uh, this had magnet on it? Yep. That's just fine. Uh, okay, so if I put the sword pedestal here, that should get everything in this area. Yeah. But if everything comes up against it, I could do it against the wall here. So I could do that. Do that. Because I get pushed against the wall anyway. Oh no, that might be in the way then. Right. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we'll have to do it out of the way here. So we'll put the pedestal here. That way it can attack these spaces. Yeah. Yeah, that should be right. Okay. Ooh, owie. Yep, it's working. That's for sure. Okay. It works. Um, do I want to put my sword in there? Yeah, sure, why not? I might regret this later, but that's okay. Uh, if I hit, which which tool do I need on here? Oh, it does tell me my 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 tool. So tool, lethal netherite sword, enchantments, sharpness, and teleportation. Cool. All right. So there we go. Um, there's some detailed information on that. Put that away. Can't take damage now. That's behind the wall. Um, okay, so... Oh, you know what I should have done. I should have put five speed augments in that as well. It has magnet on it, so it will be magneting up items. Uh, I should probably give it some priority here with uh, speed stuff. Um, where do I want those items to go, though? Where do I want those items to go? Do I want them to go into just a drop chest, maybe? I suppose it might be all right for now. So let's do maybe this here. Um, I'm trying to think how to go about this. So this is all of the loot that we get from the monsters. Um. Right, okay, what if I put the dropper dispenser here? Like so. Then I put our grindstone on top of it with another pedestal. Then I had to, uh, oh right, I have to put items in here somehow. So let's put the items in here like this, with this pedestal. Where's my export at? There it is. So we'll put the export here. Perfect. That will go there. Then those will need to make it into a chest. So I'll put another chest. Maybe we'll throw the chest here. And this will be for the repaired items. Can I get out of there? I cannot get out of there. But we need to put five speed augments in that. Too many items on me. Ah. Okay. 
Okay. So that goes there, goes there, goes there. In the chest. Perfect. And that's very quick. Uh, um, yeah, very quick. Very, very quick. Perfect. Okay, so then the anvil next. I'll go on top. Only after we have the tank. Oh no. Give me my tank back. The tank here. And the magnet pedestal. I suppose we can just drop it anywhere, really. Um, I might just drop it like here. It's not super important where it goes, I, I suppose. Put that there. F, go there. That should be able to pick up any XP that drops in the, a fairly large area. And it's going to send it to our tank. So from there to there. Perfect. So this is connected to that. This is connected to that. There's our experience. Um... Link to all my levels, threw it in there, repair that tool. Perfect. Just the way it was supposed to work. Uh, did I ever have a place for those? No, I did not. Okay. All right. So we have repair tools now. Those need to go into a chest, uh, which will be this one. Uh, where did my recycler go? Oh, no. Oh, there it is. Okay, we need to advance for that though. Yikes. Um, right. Maybe we should swap that out with the other advanced one. Let's go up top real quick. Can you sleep? All right. Because uh, this new system is way, 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 we're gonna just we're gonna swap these out. Um, because this has advanced on it currently, we want this one more than the other one. Uh, but at some point I will have to fight another wither so we get another advance point going. But until then, uh, this will work. Alright. So now, uh, pedestal please. There we go. Pedestal. Uh, recycler upgrade. We'll do another export down here. Another export to go there. So this one will collect the items out of here. Again, we probably want to speed this up to max just so our system flows nice and smooth. Uh, boom, like so. So that should do that. That's going to give us iron. And that iron can all go in here. And another export. Boom. Another five augments just to keep everything rolling smoothly. And a little bit of connections. Boom, boom. And this will also grab all the item jobs we get from there. That way we don't have to worry about that. Cool. I think that should work. Uh, obviously, this needs more experience. We uh, clearly don't have enough experience in there. But I'm hoping... Oh, yeah. This uh, enchant rips. Uh, I'm going to need a filter... the chance we're going to have andesite in there? I don't think that will break the server. <laughs> um, this guy needs to send his experience somewhere. That's why. Cool. 
Wow. Oh, wow. Look at the diamonds already. Holy smokes. All right, so let's go get some monsters to spawn. Prove that this still works. Now, I could, what I could do now is I could actually get more mobs in here uh, to spawn as well. Uh, I'm just using the OP zombie for right now, but we could use other monsters uh, too. So there he is. Boom, he dies. So his armor actually comes off fast enough before he dies, which is good. We don't really want broken armor if we can't, if we can help it. Uh, I have a feeling these OP zombies are going to take a long time to spawn. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. I love how fast the armor comes off. Holy smoke. I almost feel like we need another spawner system just to provide experience for all this. Um... But it works. Like, it's definitely working. I wonder... Alright, what are what are we doing? Like, are we getting a surplus of iron or materials? Yeah, we have way more stuff in here than we have dismantled at this point. So we, we definitely need a way to supply this experience because we're not getting nearly enough experience. Uh, I know Apotheosis has an enchant called Knowledge of the Ages, which can turn some of your drops into experience. Normally, if a monster drops its armor, that could also be converted into experience, which is not what people want normally. But because we're already pulling the armor off of them, there's no armor to lose. So maybe we do want Knowledge of the Ages. Maybe I'll have to find Knowledge of the Ages if I can. Yeah, there we go. There is our new and improved monster spawner. Hope you, you guys learned something interesting today. Uh, I know I learned something interesting that I've never done before. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good afternoon. Bye-bye.